Today's video is sponsored by Sennheiser. Yo guys, Jonathan here. It is time for a brand new what's in my bag. Got some new tech and more importantly, a really freaking cool backpack. So this guy sitting on my back right now, kind of blended into my shirt, is the Herschel Supply Company Apex Lawson. If you love prime knit, if you love fly knit, or if you love yarn and knitting in general, you will dig this. I've been a fan of Herschel backpacks for a while now, but by far this is my favorite in terms of looks and aesthetics because it is so unique from the rest. It looks great, it's comfortable, it's definitely held up in terms of tossing it around while traveling, especially at the airport. And I gotta say, as far as backpacks, this is definitely the most questions I've ever got in terms of what is that on your back. Now, as far as the backpack, there aren't a ton of compartments and pockets, which I kind of like for a couple of different reasons. One, I generally don't carry that much with me in the first place, so it's not more than I need. And two, because it's so simple, it keeps things nice and organized. Now, as far as the main compartment, you got tons of room for activities. This will house a laptop up to 15 inches. I like the fact that there's plenty of padding and there's an additional compartment for things like a tablet or in my case, I have a Nintendo Switch sandwiched inside. There's also a couple additional slots I'm using to carry a Samsung T5 SSD and a battery bank. And really there's not much that I dislike about this backpack. So next up, these are the Sennheiser HD 4.50 wireless Bluetooth headphones. And I feel like I've been on a plane like every other week for the past two months now. And these have been my go-to headphones. First and foremost, these feature active noise cancellation, which is so, so amazing on an airplane. It's one of those things that you don't truly appreciate until you have it and then you don't have it. But regardless, it works fantastic on these headphones. On top of that, you are getting stellar battery life. So without noise cancellation, these will last about 25 hours. But if you do want to take advantage of that noise cancellation, you're still going to get about 19 hours, which is crazy and pretty much long enough for any flight out there. You have super cushiony ear pads, which are going to make these crazy comfortable. And they also fold up really nicely, which is perfect for traveling. More importantly, you guys that know Sennheiser know they make great quality headphones, so sound quality is also on point as well. You combine that with active noise cancellation, I can't hear a thing right now, and that is the recipe for a great pair of traveling headphones. Make sure you guys check out the link below. So from there, I got everything laid out for my backpack. We will start with the most boring out of this bunch. That is the USB-C MacBook Pro charger. That, of course, goes along with the 2017 15-inch MacBook Pro. It's what I use to edit pretty much all my videos, including the one you're watching right now. Got a sweet leather D-brand skin on here. If you guys want to check those out for yourselves, I will drop a link down below. Alongside the MacBook Pro, this is the Samsung T5 SSD, which is easily one of my most used pieces of tech. It's compact, but this particular model is packed in two terabytes of storage, so it's what I use to edit pretty much every single one of my videos. So the small footprint combined with its crazy speeds makes it perfect not only for on the go, but also for your desk as well. And if you don't need this much storage, they also come in a few different flavors as well. Next, this is probably the most interesting piece of tech in my bag. This is my Nintendo Switch that I take on the road for traveling, for gaming, but on back, it has kind of become the office Frankenstein guinea pig switch. In this case, whenever Kevin wants to get a crazy tweak or mod, this is what happens to it. In this case, we got this crazy atomic purple see-through D-pad on here. If you guys want to learn more about that, definitely make sure you check out his video, which I will link to down below. Next, this is probably the weirdest thing in my backpack because it is solely used just to charge my Apple Watch when I'm traveling. It is a dual purpose battery bank. What's cool is there's a built-in Apple Watch charger right here. So it's almost wireless in the sense that you pop your Apple Watch on and you are magically charging. Now this will usually get me about four to five charges with my Apple Watch. So instead of taking something I plug into a wall, this is actually all I take on the road and is perfect for charging my Apple Watch. Next, this guy right here from Native Union is probably the best $50 that I've spent in a really long time. It's an extension cord one, so that's super helpful, especially when you're traveling. You got this nice braided cable, and more importantly, it's like this multi-tool where you got multiple USB ports, you got USB-C, and you actually have two outlets, one here, they're evenly spaced, and it's actually become one of the most useful things I've purchased all of 2017. So if you travel a lot, this has been so, so useful. I cannot recommend it enough. And from there, kind of rounded everything out, got this super tough, rugged lightning cable from Nomad. So if you travel a lot, you're not gonna worry about this thing breaking or tearing or ripping apart. This I use alongside this Monster Anchor power bank, which is packing 26,000 milliamps of power. What's also crazy cool is there's a USB-C port and enough juice packed inside this guy to power a MacBook or MacBook Pro. Now it's not gonna be your main source of power, but it's definitely useful when you're in a pinch or an emergency. And definitely if you use a Nintendo Switch, that's gonna be your partner in crime. <laughs> So thank you guys very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys go dogs fighting in a park on that like button. Links to everything featured in this video are down below. This is Jonathan, and I'll catch you guys later.